What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Operation Motherland update for Ghost Recon Breakpoint that has just dropped for free for all owners of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Right now, you can pick up Breakpoint on Uplay for around $9, but the question is, is, is it worth your time? The game launched in such a shit state by Ghost Recon standards that a lot of people just skipped it altogether. And I know a lot of you guys have been harping and shitting on this game for quite a long time, at least those in the comment section of all of the Ghost Recon videos that I have dropped over the past couple of years. And kudos to you guys for sticking by your guns and saying, fuck that, we're not buying a product that isn't up to our standard. Kudos and good on you. This update, is a game changer. Honestly, man, I played it for about three and a half hours on stream today, and I had more fun playing this game in this new conquest mode than I think I have in a Ghost Recon game in quite a long time. The idea is you can just go into whatever character that you have played, whether you played for an hour or a hundred, you go into the map and you choose the conquest mode and you're in. You start liberating the island of Aurora. Region by region, you're completing destabilization missions and unlocking intel to then find the leader of whatever region you're in, and then you go and kill them. Now, the storyline for this update is pretty irrelevant. They bring in this neutral faction called the Outcasts who drive around in cars looking like Mad Max dressed with fucking miniguns, but the basic enemies that you're fighting are the Bodarks. So there's a lot of references to Ghost Recon Future Soldier with using the optical camo for some of these missions so that you basically get in and out extracting hostages undetected. There was one mission where we had to go into like this mansion area where they were holding three different hostages and extract them in the middle of the night using optical camos and stealth. And it was like, I, I felt like a kid again playing Ghost Recon the way that I feel like it needs to be played and the way that it should be played in 2021. Slow paced, stealth, methodical, using the weather, the rain and the sandstorm that kind of blew through as a way of like covering yourself and kind of moving through the dark of night with all of these weather effects going on, taking out enemies and extracting hostages. And I said during that mission, this is what Ghost Recon should represent and what it should be in 2021. So I honestly have to say kudos to Ubisoft. And <laughs> I, I don't say that often. If you guys know this channel, you know that I am hypercritical because I love these franchises so much. Kudos to Ubisoft for supporting this game post-launch and turning it from the absolute disaster that it was day one to where it is now. Honestly, if you're going to pick up this game, I strongly urge you to just skip the story, skip all that shit, and just play this game for the conquest mode. And then if you want even more of that, then go into the story. There's a lot more drone tech and everything else there. Now, granted, there were a couple of moments during this playthrough that uh, I ran into a couple of drones that caught me, fucked the mission up, and it is what it is, but it is nowhere close to where it was at launch. At this point, jumping off of stream, I'm really excited to just jump into the game and play through this entire conquest mode with a couple of buddies and just get that ghost recon experience that I feel I've been missing for so many years and just have fun playing a tactical shooter that's made by a AAA developer. One thing that I do wish they would change or release update maybe in the future is the ability to just restart the conquest mode. So once you're done, you just hit the reset button and you go from there. There's nothing like a prestige system. There's really nothing. I would really like a mode where it's a back and forth fight between the Bodarks and your ghost team. But as you start liberating the island and if you take, let's say, a week off, they come back with harder forces and more manpower and start taking back that island. So it's like an ever, you know, battle back and forth between the two factions. And then that could lean into bringing more and more content. So like the ghosts now have bigger arsenals to draw from because the governments are starting to put more resources towards funding and they could do a whole system of replayability to keep this mode fresh and fun for, for as, as long as it takes to get another Ghost Recon title. On top of just the conquest mode, they've added a bunch of quality of life improvements to things like base jumping and CQC and fixing the lasers and sliding. They've also reworked a lot of the weapon sounds from the M4A1, the TAC-50, the G28, as well as adding in that optical camo and a tech tree to go along with it. So these guys have done 
a, a really good job at bringing a new update out for a game that a lot of people just kind of wrote off. They also decided to add in some mass cosmetics from Future Soldier, and god damn, does it look good. If you guys happen to watch the gameplay on my other channel, you'll notice a lot of weather effects in this game that have been changed, and we talked about it before, they've added five new exclusive ambiences to experience alongside the conquest mode, so there's micro changes, clearer and denser clouds, more radiosity, frequent rain in the marshes, modified distance and density of fog, and just improved the impact of the sun and the lighting on all of the environments. They've added new insects, fumes, floating grass, and flying birds. It is, it is so much better. Like, it literally, this is so much better in every single way that I just wish Ubisoft would, would just look at what they're doing and take this and just apply it to the next one and everyone moving forward, man. And you wouldn't have me walking out of E3 play tests because the game is not where it needs to be. I'm gonna have some of that Ghost Recon content uploading onto my second channel for like the live stream highlights and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna see even more Ghost Recon coverage, you guys can go and subscribe to more Big Fry. That link is down below. And I strongly urge you if you're on the fence and you're on PC, and you want to download it on Uplay, it's currently $9, and I feel like at this point in the game, you have literally nothing to lose. It's such a steal. This new mode changes the game for me completely. I don't have to fuck around looking at John Bernthal's pixelated face. I don't have to listen to stupid storylines that don't make sense. I can just go in, shoot people, and liberate the island, and move on from there. I really hope they learn a thing or two from this update, and take what everybody is praising about it and take that and apply it to the next title so that we don't have to wait two years for it to turn into something great. And even though this video is kind of praising Ubisoft's, you know, attention and follow up to making a bad game better, I still don't have faith that they'll learn anything for the next iteration. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, subscribe to the second channel. And all through the month of November, we are supporting Stack Up, Veterans Mental Health, and Suicide Prevention. So if you guys do want to donate towards that, I am giving away a couple of custom keyboards on my live stream. If we do hit the goal for November, I think it's a good cause, and I think we can start leveraging this platform for doing way more positive things than we have been doing. So check out the stream. Check out the second channel. And if you guys want to jump into the PC Master Race, with a pre-built unit. You guys can check out my sponsor, Apex Gaming PCs, and use code BIGFRY for 5% off your order. My new PC from them is coming this week. You guys can see the specs over on my community tab. Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more FPS content, and I'll see you on the next one.